Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to set up August in my bullet journal and we're just gonna jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to share is the inspiration for this month's theme. The inspiration came from these three washi tapes that came in a pack together. Even though they don't exactly match, they have a color scheme in common. The main tape I'm going to use for the monthly spread is this purple floral that has orange, pink, and navy blue in it. For the weekly spreads, I'm going to use this black floral that ties in with the main tape because it has the same purple and orangish red inside the flowers that it has on this washi tape. Then the third washi tape I'm going to use is this patterned one. It ties in the same purple that's in the other two tapes and I'm just going to use these for accents if I need it. So now we're going to jump into the journal and turn to the blank page. I'm so excited to get August done. This page is going to be left blank. This is going to be the title page for August. And what I'm going to do is put all three of these washi tapes around the edge, just to remind myself that this is the color scheme that I'm using. And then I'm going to put August 2020 in the middle with stickers. And then I'm going to put my monthly quote underneath. Are the letters that I'm going to use. It's in kind of like this script type font and I don't have any numbers to match these so I'm going to use the numbers off of here. These black and white pattern ones that I used in a previous video. The only thing is is that these don't really match but that's okay because like I say in all my videos I don't like when things match or too matchy matchy so I'm okay that it doesn't match so we're just gonna work with what we have and make it work and I'm going to use my trick of using a pair of tweezers to get the stickers off of this page because they're really skinny a trick that I saw on another video on YouTube is that you can put the stickers on the ruler to line it up and then you can move it around to make sure it's in the spot that you want and then you can transfer the stickers onto the page so i'm going to try that out i haven't tried it yet but we're going to try that out and see if it works okay so the transfer of the stickers didn't go as smoothly as i would have hoped but it worked out <laughs> and now we're going to put 2020 underneath there we have it august 2020 that looks nicer than i thought it would okay and now that we have that i'm going to put my yearly quote underneath and my yearly quote this time is from a sticker book it's from this sticker book by Heidi Swap, and I usually try to get my inspiration from sticker books because like I mentioned in my previous videos, my handwriting isn't too neat, so I don't want to have to write out the quote because then it'll look sloppy, so I try to pick something that uh, is already written out on a sticker because that makes it a lot easier. My quote for August is going to be hope in the hustle and I chose that quote because I'm going to be hustling for the month of August. I'm going to post on YouTube three days a week and I guess this is the official announcement for my upload schedule. I'm going to post for the month of August. I'm going to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three days a week all month even though i start school i'm still going to do it so i'm going to be hustling to get you guys some great content so if you're not already subscribed please subscribe so you can see what else i upload 
It's not perfectly straight, but it's stuck down there, so we're gonna leave it and pretend like it was on purpose. So now that we have that, I do want to put some kind of decoration here at the bottom, so I'm going to use the Dream Seeker sticker book by the Happy Planner, but we're going to use one of these um, animal skulls because I am going to be hustling down to the bone this month. So it goes along with the theme. Also, I just think these stickers are really cute. So let's go with this one. We're gonna go with this one. And I feel like it needs something else, so I'm going to use these leaves. I'm gonna use those around it. Okay, I think that's it. This is our August title page for this month. I like it. And the last thing I'm going to do for this page is put a tab on the side so that it's easy to flip to. And I'm going to use one of these tabs. They're just regular tabs that I got that I got at the office supply store. I'm going to use the pink one. It covers up the letters a little bit, but that's okay. And let's go on to the next page. This page is going to be the August calendar. So I'm going to use my main washi tape as a, as a border, as a header on top. And then I'll speed up making the calendar so you don't have to watch me make every little mark. And like I said, I try to do as little handwriting as possible because my handwriting is sloppy. This is the best I can do. Okay, but we're just gonna keep going. So we're going to put the days of the week down. I've already gone through and marked out some of the stickers that I want to use. So we're going to use these purple days of the week. Okay, so I do have to mention that the hard part about using stickers from sticker books like this is that they are meant for a regular size planner. But since I'm using them in my bullet journal, I had to cut off the sticker for Saturday so that it could fit onto my bullet journal. So my calendar might be a little bit um, off center. It might be a little bit unaligned correctly but we're just going to work with what we have. We're gonna make it work somehow. So let's continue. a little bit plain so I'm gonna to try to find something to put in this blank space up top and I might and I'm going to put some of the accent washi tape at the bottom so let's do that now I'm going to use this free spirit sticker at the top and see how that looks in this space right here I think I'm just gonna put some washi tape. So here we have the August 2020 calendar. And the next thing we're going to do is the August budget. Now, I'm only going to put in the headers for these two pages. It's going to be the budget and the weekly check-in for the budget on this side. I'm only gonna put in the headers for now, but I will put in all the details in my next upload. So be sure to check that out because I'm going to give all the numbers, all the expenses I'm tracking, and things that could help you 
to budget in your bullet journal. So for this, I'm going to use the same washi tape that I've been using for the monthly spreads at the top. So these are the headers for the August budget and the weekly budget check-in. And the next page will be my habit tracker and my mood tracker. So again, we're going to use the same washi tape along the top as the header. For the habit tracker this month, I'm going for a very simple layout. I'm, last month I did, last month I did calendars as the trackers, but this time I'm going to go with two rows of numbers and call it a day. stickers to place at the bottom here. It says wild at heart. Wild at heart and I still have space here so I can add, um, I'm actually going to add another habit that I'm going to track just to fill in this space. I don't like a lot of empty space as you can see so I want to fill in this space so I'm going to add one more habit tracker. If you prefer like a minimalist look, then you can certainly create your journal to look a lot more simple than what mine looks like, but I like to put down as many stickers as I can. <laughs> so that's why I like to fill up a lot of the empty space on my page. And there's still a little bit of empty space over here. I know I should just stop while I'm ahead, but we are going to use some of these feather stickers and put one along the side. I wish it were curved to the other side, but this was the only purple one that was in the sticker book, so curved in the wrong direction, but we work with what we have. And now for the mood tracker. I'm doing something different for the mood tracker this month. Last month, I had a simple mood tracker that was a circle, but, and I colored in the slots in the circle for the corresponding day, but I'm going to do something different this time. I have this pad of scrapbooking paper and there's this page of flowers that's so pretty so I thought I could cut out a square of this and color in eat a flower for each of the day. I can color it in depending on my mood for each day. So that's what we're going to do with this one. So let's take this out and we're going to cut out 31 flowers for all the days of August. That looks so nice. I'm excited. And then I'm going to put the key here at the bottom. And here we have the pages for the habit tracker and the mood tracker. I love how these pages came out. Now let's move on to the monthly goals. The goals for August and this page is going to be a brain dump. It's going to be, I'm going to put a header at the top of this one but the rest is going to be blank. So what we're really going to focus on is the August goals page. So we're going to put the same washi tape that we've been using and we're going to put it across the top again. So 
So the brain dump page is done. I will use this page to write down anything that comes to mind during the month that doesn't have a spot in any of the other pages. For the August goals, I'm going to use stickers again from the Dream Seeker sticker book. I'm going to use these diamond shaped stickers. So this spread is done. As you can see, I have my goals for the month on this page and this page is empty because it's a brain dump. Now let's go on to the next page and we are getting into the weekly spreads. So for this month, I'm going to use different weekly spreads for every week, but I will show you those in a later video. I'm just going to do one week today and I'm going to use the same weekly spread I use for July, which is this daily hourly spread. So I'm going to do that for the first month of August. And we're going to, we are going to change our washi tape header. We're going to start using this black floral for the, for the weekly spreads. out the headers for the days of the week a little bit now we're going to use the same booklet and we're going to use these these purple numbers um, for the days of the week spread this week I'm going to do the same thing I did at, on my last for last month for July I'm going to have a space at the top for anything important that I have to remember for that day then I'm gonna have my top three priority items that I have to get done for that day and then I'm gonna have the hourly spread underneath there so let's draw all of that out right now spread this took a long time to actually write all of this in but it looks so nice I'm glad I like the way that this turned out then the next page that we're going to do is my social media content tracker for YouTube Going to do the same thing I did for July. I'm going to put the dates down the side and then I'm going to put things to film, things to post, things to prep, and notes. I think I might use these, these purple ones. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use these purple ones and I will use, I guess I could use these numbers since Monday starts on the Good. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. And because there's this empty space here at the bottom, 
I'm going to put some of the washi tape down here at the bottom and then I might put a couple stickers here in the notes area because I don't usually use the notes area all that much so I know I'm going to have extra space here anyway so I'm going to put stickers there. So this is the weekly spread for the social media content tracker and that is actually the last page that we're going to do. In July I had my weekly spread social media content tracker and then a daily thoughts area but I don't need that area because I have a separate journal that I use now so I'm not gonna put that in so we're going to do the flip through of August this is the August title page with my monthly quote which is hope in the hustle This is the August 2020 calendar. This is for my budget and my weekly budget check-in, which I will show you in my next video. This is the habit tracker and my mood tracker. This is my favorite spread of August. And we have my August goals and the brain dump page, which is blank right now, but I will probably fill up this whole page with just random thoughts, to-do lists, anything that comes to mind that doesn't have a spot in another part of the journal is going to go on this page. Then we have the weekly spread for the first full week of August. And I am using a daily hourly schedule for this week. Then we have the YouTube content tracker page and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!